Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and we have been doing a lot of weather activities, hands-on weather activities, uh, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, there are five different chapters on the weather in our Earth and Space by Bright Ideas Press and we have been doing, like there's a coloring page that's super fun um, about this. Uh, there's also um, different types of clouds uh, that's provided in the book and actually if you want you can glue some cotton onto these um, clouds uh, to make them three-dimensional so that's uh, a super cool as you learn the different uh, types of clouds and there's also a weather observation chart that you can fill in we filled one in for two weeks and um, this is one week and so you can uh, fill it in with all of your weather instruments that you make uh, during this um, unit study um, and you also have in the back of the book you have a field trip journal page which you can fill in and what we did for a field trip is we went to a weather station and we saw them launch um, a weather balloon and it's way bigger than I had imagined it to be it takes two men to launch it and they run and it was super windy on the day that it was done and it was it went way up in the sky really fast so a fun field trip for um, your weather unit study is definitely to to go to a weather station. You should also look out your window, look at the clouds outside, look at the weather, watch weather reports and things like that. Those can be super fun. Now, for some of your um, weather instruments uh, to uh, do your uh, weather chart and fill in your weather chart, some of those instruments we made uh, in our previous video, which was atmosphere unit study. Uh, there were four chapters in the book about the atmosphere, so we made a barometer and a psychrometer and so you need those two instruments to be able to fill in this chart uh, for this um, for this uh, chart you also want to make a rain gauge um, and the instructions for making a rain gauge are in the book take a look at how we made our rain gauge now we are going to make a rain gauge and you can make a rain gauge easily out of a pot bottle. So what you do first is you cut the top off and the easiest way to do that is to stab it and then all you have to do is cut it with a shears. If you don't have shears you can cut it with a knife that's fine but it's pretty easy to cut it with your kitchen shears. Okay. So now you just invert that like that and there you have it. Now, um, you want to label the sides uh, in inches, okay? So we're going to label the sides with a black Sharpie marker. Okay, and there you have it, the, um, the inches of rain. So you put that outside and it rains and you'll be just fine. Now, if you don't want any rain to go between the cracks, then you can use um, some duct tape or some waterproof tape that you used earlier in our previous video about um, the atmosphere, atmosphere unit study. We used this for the barometer. And so you probably already have waterproof tape from your other um, weather instruments we made in the previous chapters. Make sure you don't overlap that. Yeah, we can overlap it. <laughs> okay. So there you go. If you don't want it to go through the cracks, you can do that. If you don't have the tape, it's fine. You can just lay it on top. And here is our finished rain gauge. If you want to fill up those ridges on the bottom with water before you measure it out, that's, that will give you an even better and, and more accurate measurement because those little ridges are harder to fill uh, with water. So you have to have quite a bit of rain um, in order to uh, fill those ridges. So go ahead and fill the ridges with water and then start um, your measurements from the end of the water up. As you are studying the clouds, you can create a, an experiment uh, described in the book that is weather in a jar. And you can create clouds, precipitation, condensation, and all that inside uh, a jar. Take a look at that experiment. 
And here we are with an experiment called weather in a jar. And what you do is you get this uh, a jar, a large jar, and you get a funnel and you want to get a cup of hot water. So go ahead and pour a cup of hot water into there and then look at what it looks like. See, that steam is actually a cloud. And then what you want to do is put ice into a, a Ziploc bag. Use a small bag, not like mine, which um, we uh, did not have a small bag. So, but you can use this in a pinch. So you put ice cubes into the top and you have hot uh, water on the bottom and um, it creates a cloud. Okay, so we have a cloud in a jar. And now, if you see, oop, yes, you can see it. Okay, the condensation is forming on the top and sides of the jar. And so those water droplets are starting to drop down into the jar, causing it to rain inside that jar. Isn't that cool? It is, it's raining. Look at that, guys. It's dripping, right, from the, even the middle. It's condensing onto the funnel. It's condensing and then sliding off into the... Don't touch it. Weather in a jar. So funny. So cool. And finally, we made a tornado in a bottle. Take a look at that fun experiment. Here we are making a tornado in a bottle. You will need two two liter pot bottles and you will want some water. You will want some clay, um, a funnel and either waterproof tape or duct tape, okay? And you'll also want some confetti of some kind or debris that you can put in there so that you could see what it's like in a tornado for all the things to go up into the it, okay? Now, um, there, this is the way to do it if you do not have any money. There's also a tornado tube that makes it way easier that I bought for less than $5 at a toy store. You could probably Google it online. It's called Tornado Tube and it's very lightweight and then you just connect it to two pot bottles and you're done. So if you don't have the money to get, the, if you don't have $5, okay, then you can do it the way that it is in the book and it's fine. Um, if you do have clay, you can put clay on it. Otherwise, I think the duct tape would be fine also. Okay, so let's start by um, filling uh, one of the bottles with water. Okay. After pouring the water, you might want to tint the water a fun color. Unless you're doing it indoors like we are, then just leave it the way it is maybe. Um, we are putting some confetti in there so that we can see it better. Now you can get some clay. Uh, it could also be sticky tack or even chewing gum. And you can actually skip this step if you want to. Um, this is just to seal it as much as possible uh, before putting the tape on it, okay? So we are sealing it, all right? And then we are using our waterproof tape. You can also use duct tape. If you don't have duct tape, go next door. Any uh, self-respecting man owns duct tape. So you should not have a problem finding duct tape. So you just cut that off and you put it around the bottle like that. Okay nice and tight and pull it like that okay now what you want to do is you want to give it a little nudge we're going to back these up can you put this book put the book over there protecting our bright ideas press book don't want to get water on it in case this erupts all over the place since i've never done it this way before i've always used a tornado tube so here we go, upside down, going like this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, a tornado in a bottle. Look at that, guys. Wow, that works without that little thing. Okay, let's turn it back. Oh, look at the tornado. Oh, this is how the 
flying around it. Yeah, let me try, let me try. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thank you for watching our hands-on weather activities.